everything is for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. You know that phrase, yeah? Um, everything is for my mom. Everything is for my fans. Everything is for proving to myself that I can do it. Um, everything is, is for my future. Everything is, is for my future family. You know, everything is, is for something. Um, also, the number four is the number that follows us around. It's four legs on a table. There's four legs on a chair. Um, there's four seasons. Um, there's there's four states of matter. You know, it's, it's just a number that follows us everywhere. Um, and those different things kind of uh, correlate to me in, in my life. You know, the, the chair, the four legs on the chair, the tables. The reason it's a strong foundation. Um, the, the four seasons, the, the changing of the seasons, it represents um, change and being able to accept change. Um, so uh, it's also my fourth album. So all of that puts in there. Um, no, nah, because I think cause I think it's more I, I think it's more than four uh, genres represented on the album. Um, I mean, you have country with folk. Um, uh, you have uh, a, a pop. You have R and B. You have um, alternative with uh, uh, trading parts. Um, you have uh, a bunch. There's more than four there. Um, amazing, man. Um, how that came about was we were both uh, having dinner uh, with, with the family at the White House, and um, I got to talking with him, and uh, I realized you know, this is one. It's crazy. Um, but I had a song called Broke that had a, a harmonica in it, and Stevie's an amazing harmonica player. So I was, you know, thinking to myself, it would be incredible if I got Stevie wanted to play his harmonica for me. Um, so. I just asked him, I was like, Steve, would you want to play a Monica one of my songs? And he was like, yeah, man, you're family, of course. Um, so then I was like, would you want to sing on that song too? Um, he was like, yeah, man. He was like, I'll tell you what, if I hear that song on the radio and I'm not on it, I will be your ass. Uh, so he, he's hilarious, man. He, you know, he just has like these one liners that are hilarious. Um, but a genius, so he does. You know, he went through about 10, 10, 15 different harmonicas trying to choose the right one for this particular record. Um, just amazing to watch him work. You know, someone that I looked up to for so long, um, playing on, and singing on one of my songs. It was really surreal. You know, I think music is music. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I don't think it's impossible. I think a song like Broke could, could break barriers. You know, it's not like full on just country. Um, but it's a clash of worlds. You know, Keith Urban, um, Stevie Wonder, myself on a song is literally just a, just a clash of worlds. It's a mind fuck. It's like, yeah. I never thought that I would hear a song with Stevie Wonder, Jason Derulo, and Keith Urban. Um, but Keith Urban is an amazing banjo player. He's probably the best um, in the industry. So I asked him if he would you know, play the banjo on that song. And, um, and he, 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 he said yes. You know, so um, it, it's 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 cool, man. You know, I have like my my brain goes left a lot of times, and um, that's pretty much how that song came about. It's just you know thinking thinking left field and not um, straight down the middle. You know, I think that's where people kind of fall at the wasteland when they when they're just following the trend and, and just doing what everybody else is doing. It's just so boring. Mm -hmm. um, to, to stay fresh, to stay on, on top of the game, you got to continue to switch it up and surprise people. And it's more fun. Uh, J-Lo, man, I mean, J-Lo was, you know, that's, you know, somebody that was on my wall. <laughs> um, so it, it's crazy, you know, to have not, not one legend, but two legends on, on my own. Um, J-Lo is one of the most influential females of all time. Um, but the most humble lady you've ever, you've ever met before. Um, we we danced, we, we sang, we, we partied to a to a song that spoke to us. You know, this this song is it's a Caribbean song. It's called Try Me, um, and it, and it's like a Caribbean house. Um, so it just spoke to our roots. So we were just so so in love with the song and um, so in love with with the moment. You know what I mean? So it was it was just like a like a like the best time we could possibly have. Um, and it, it went on for, for two nights. We actually 
to be um, work on the song for, for two nights. And, um, yeah, man, incredible, incredible, incredible lady. Everything that you would imagine and more. Um, so each song is, is you know, really different. Um, Painkiller, uh, that features Mega Trainer, um, is a song that speaks to lust and how lust can be a painkiller. You know, you go through a, a hard relationship, hard breakup, rather, and just having a, a, a lustful situation can just completely wipe out whatever pain that you had from your last situation. You know, um, even if it's for a certain amount of time, it does. It, you know, it makes you feel better. Um, and uh, it's just it's just the truth. You know, me writing about my life and um, and the things that I go through. So that particular song talks about um, how how one night stands can wipe away the pain even if just for a while. Just like a painkiller does. You say, and I agree, that one to one me has some 80s vibe. I want to know why do you choose to make a song like this? Um, you know, sometimes I think, sometimes I think I'm just led to, to certain ideas by, by God almost, you know? Because um, it's just, it always just happens through experimentation. It's never like, I'm going to do this right now. It's, it's just me experimenting and trying things that are not down the middle, things that are left to center. Okay. Um, 80s was an, amazing, it was an amazing time. I wasn't here, but um, <laughs> I hear that it was amazing. Um, it, they had a lot of great uh, feel-good music. There was a lot, a lot of live yeah. instrumentation. Um, and I wanted to use a lot of live instrumentation on this album. Um, so it just kind of happened by chance, and then I fell in love with, with the sound. Um, but you'll hear a lot of Michael, Michael Jackson and Prince influence yeah. um, on the album. Um, Michael Jackson is someone that I looked up to since I was four. Prince, later down the line, um, I didn't understand him when I was a kid. I was, yeah. I was like, I don't, I don't get it. I don't feel why people like this guy. Um, and then when I got older, I, I could fully appreciate his genius and, and, um, and he became one of my biggest influences. Um, so yeah, everything just kind of, it comes from a place of experimentation. Talent. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know what, it, it doesn't always take talent. Man. Um, I think to, to continuously be on the billboard takes takes songwriting ability. Um, I think there's very few artists that have a lasting career that don't know how to write. Um, because you're always at the beck and call of other writers. You know, you're only as good as the songs that other people bring you. Um, if you're a songwriter yourself, then you then you always then you always have <laughs> that to fall back on. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if you can write great songs, you can continuously, continuously be on the billboard album, for sure. You know what? Um, I, I, I kind of searched for myself for a long time. I didn't, I didn't know what the fuck I wanted to do. Um, I, I just went through everything. You know, I, I went through um, seeing gospel music at one time. I went through seeing country music at one time. Um, Neo Soul, R&B. I just literally just tried everything. Jazz. Um, Cause I was a kid, you know, just just kind of searching for myself. Yeah. You know what? And and uh, even musical theater, musical theater was like a like a huge thing in my life. Like I I was submerged in musical theater for years and years. And at one point, I thought I was going to be on Broadway until I went for an audition on Broadway and I got the role of Benny Rent on Broadway. And I was like, this isn't right. This is not right for me. If I do this, then I'm going to be stuck here forever. Um, and then I decided to go for my pop dream. Um, I think pop music is the biggest music in, in the world and I went in my, my music to transcend across across the world and be able to be touched by everyone and not just a specific market. 
can I ask you something about your participation on So You Think You Can Dance? Because it's my favorite TV show in the oh, world, nice. so I'm pretty excited about you being judged. Oh, and okay. are you thrilled? And do you feel the responsibility over your role? Yeah, to some degree. Yeah, absolutely. Because um, I, was, I was in that position for a long time, you know, going on auditions and um, going in front of, you know, three, four people mm -hmm. and them telling me if I was worthy or not. I know what that feels like, yeah. you know, and I know what those pressures feel like. And I feel the responsibility to not just tell somebody, no, you suck, and then they go about their way, <laughs> and then they think they suck, and then their dream is crushed. I think it's important um, for them to have po positive reinforcement and, and know why they suck. Um, <laughs> you know, you need to go back and fix this, 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 and this, and then yeah. you can come back and be stronger than they were before. I think that's the, the beauty of the show. Um, that show is, has always had that integrity. Um, and it's also amazing seeing by uh, Paula and, and Nigel. Nigel, you know, the creator of the show, and uh, Paula being one of the most influential yeah. uh, choreographers of all time. You know, it's, it's, it's dope. You know, she tells about Michael Jackson stories. Yeah. Um, yeah, over lunch. Yeah. <laughs> Necessary. I think my album is necessary. Um, I, I think a lot of times, you know, in 2015, we're so um, caught up in getting a song here, getting a song there. Um, I think this album as a whole is, is necessary and on so many different levels because it, it just has something for everybody and something for every situation. You know, whether you're um, going through a tough breakup, um, whether you're uh, falling in love with somebody, whether you're getting ready to turn up at the club, you know, whether you're in a car with your mom, this album just has something for every single situation. Um, and I feel so strongly about every single song on the album that I literally want to put out a video for every single song because um, I, I feel an injustice um, for the songs that don't get that don't get video. Because um, every single song is so special in, in different ways. Um, I'm gonna say I see myself as a sex symbol. I'll be kind of weird, um, <laughs> but I'm happy to I'm happy to take that. I mean, um, I love sex just as much as the next dude. Um, I I don't know, man. I, I, I think that whole that whole situation is kind of I mean, it's, it's kind of. Uh, Neither here nor there. Um, I'm, I'm somebody who like always takes off my shirt. If it's hot, my shirt is off. Um, I'm from Miami, and for in Miami, like we, we just don't, don't have very much clothes on. And, <laughs> and, 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 and you all it's that. incredible. I think it's incredible. I think it's. Um, I think it's. Uh, it's a little. It's a. It's a little crazy. One, I think that's what's so dope about it. It's. It's fully putting yourself out on the line and um, being open to new situations. Um, when you are in your circle, you have a pool of people, well, most people have a pool of people that they come in contact with. The chances of them meeting someone that is perfect is a lot smaller. When you open up that pool to, to the world, then you have so much more opportunity to find something that is legit perfect for you. Um, I think, you know, with, with the changing of the times, um, Tinder and other things like it are, are, are amazing, man. Um, my, my cousins and friends have an amazing time with it. Um, I have amazing time um, being on their shit. Like, oh, she's not, she's whack, bro. Swipe left. <laughs> oh, she's nice. It was like, right. And it's, 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 it's cool, man. It's, it's fun. And, and you can really find somebody who's truly special and worthy um, of your time.